In this video, you learn 10 strategies people use to be successful online. Let us get started. This is Wealth Secrets TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you will not miss anything. Factually, the world is going digital before the pandemic, but the restrictions this pandemic brings help to fast track the adaptation. The internet is now a major part of both small and big businesses. With panoptic traffic on the web, from digital marketing to new merchandising methods, a new generation of business is growing up, those who make money online are those that look at the vast power of the internet to start or grow a business. Whether it is a physical merchandising business or play on innovative modern services, someone who wants to be successful online should often pay attention to some of these strategies I want to discuss. Some of the strategies are, having a unique idea, knowing your competition, finding a good coach, market research, business plan, and building an email list. 1. Find a coach or mentor. Coaching allows the individual to define their career goals realistically. With the assistance of a coach, you can set these goals and then actively work towards them. This will increase the likelihood that the goals will be achieved. So, everyone needs a coach. A good one at that. The one who has the strategies and the techniques of how to be successful in doing online businesses. This will help you achieve more success while saving a lot of time and money. Many organizations can connect you with a coach. A friend even told me that you could search for one online, especially the marketing forums like Warrior Forum, Black Hat World, or contact them directly via their blog. Don't be dejected if you're being refused, and you will surely find one that will be ready to provide you with the necessary help you need. Successful people are always willing to help other people to become successful. Just be honest with them. Don't always be a taker who's not ready to give back. Don't be a predator. It should be a mutual relationship. One of the right ways is to enroll in their premium membership or training program. Most internet marketers have one and do everything you can to get most of it. 2. Get training in technology. You will need a basic level of computer competence to successfully maintain, troubleshoot, damage control for your business, and manage data and resources. A degree or self-learning on information and technology, computer science, or a similar field is recommended. Since you are focusing on the business aspect, a few classes in IT can go a long way in building confidence with your computer skills. This strategy will save you time and money. If you gained enough knowledge needed, you'd spend less time troubleshooting and more time or productive and revenue-driving tasks. 3. Market Research Let me first make you understand what market research. This is an act of gathering, analyzing, and interpreting information to help solve marketing challenges. It helps determine the feasibility of launching a new product before dedicating time and budget to the new venture. Your idea may seem like something profitable, but you won't know how you will fit it until you see who else is doing it. Use any of these most common research activities, brand, campaign, competitor, product development, usability testing statistical to do your market research. 4. Have a unique plan. If you are looking for strategies to be successful online, this is one of the huge strategies. Uniqueness is something that will make your business to be the only one of its kind of business. The unique business idea is something that will increase the business potential energy of your business. It may seem simplistic, but given the staggering amount of competition, the difference between being successful online and just another option balances on a razor's edge. You either need to offer a unique product, an exceptional service, or a unique delivery method and implementation. Do your due diligence and research what's out there already like I said while discussing market research. How does what you offer differ from other similar products or services? That's your niche, the unique value you'll provide, and that's how you'll become successful online. 5. Understand the value of your business. This is important strategy everyone planning to be successful online should know. However, many do not understand or appreciate this strategy. Many online businesses overestimate the value of their business. What few of them understand is how easily the amount of their business can be increased and what they can do to multiply it over the long term. You need to understand what your products and services worth to customers. 6. Market cleverly. Know where to spend your time and money on marketing efforts. Social media can be an excellent way for an online entrepreneur to spread the word about their products or services. There are so many intrusive, boring campaigns out there, why not adding fun and make yours smart and fun? 
Don't do anything just because everybody else does. Create a unique way to market it to becoming successful online. 7. Learn how to manage money. Being good with money is much broader than just making ends meet. Don't worry that you're not a math guru, great math skills aren't essential, you just need to know basic addition and subtraction. Life is much easier when you have excellent financial skills. How you spend your money impacts your credit score and the amount of debt you end up carrying. Remember you're in business to make money. Still, there are many cases where, when running a new online store, entrepreneurs hadn't thoroughly planned out the financial aspects of their business and felt the sting of financial mismanagement. Be sure that you don't fall into that situation. This is where your coach's help will be needed, as they should have experience with business finances. When you're faced with a spending decision, especially a large purchase decision, don't just assume you can afford something. Confirm that you can actually afford it and haven't already committed those funds to another expense. That means using your budget and the balance in your checking and savings accounts to decide whether you can afford a purchase. Remember that just because the money is there doesn't mean you can make the purchase. You also have to consider the bills and expenses you'll have to pay before your next payday. 8. Focus on a single online business. As a successful online business owner, I made a mistake of having multiple businesses at the same time in the past. It's hard to achieve success when you focus on too many things. You can't hit four nails at a time. The best thing to do is to find that one thing that works and stick to it. Though it is good to have multiple sources of income, it needs a proper plan. Stick with one business idea that works for at least a year or develop a sustainable business before moving on to the next. By doing that, you'll have enough money to cater for the mess of the second business if it eventually fold up. 9. Be productive. As an online business owner, you won't have anyone telling you what to do daily. No one forces you to work more. The responsibility is all left to you. People think online business is fun to do because you are the boss. It is, but not in the beginning. You have to work hard to achieve success in online business as a starter. But you can also learn how to be productive and be laser focused to get more business activities done in less time. So you can spend the rest of the time with your families, friends, traveling or anything else. 10. Build an email list. There is a saying that goes thus, money is in the list. What's the email list? An email list is a collection of email addresses that a business can create by engaging with potential customers through lead generating campaigns. It is important because email marketing is the best way to connect with customers versus social media. You are six times more likely to get higher click-through rates through emails instead of tweets. It's the Cristiano Ronaldo of these strategies. I hope you like this video. Click on the like, share, and subscribe if you like this video let us know if you like or dislike it in the comment below, and we will be glad to hear your feedback. Thank you, we love you.